with our Susan Lee and Jeff Locke following the record setting trend in gas prices day after day after day. Another one, by the way, today we begin with Susan. Susan. Still searching for a bottom here, Neil. We have a new low for stock markets this year. A sixth straight day of losses for the Dow Jones Industrials. The S&P 500 is close to bear market territory, down nearly 20 percent from recent peaks. Now, as a result, Apple has lost its crown as the world's most valuable company to Saudi Aramco. That's Saudi Arabia's state-controlled oil company. But it's not just Apple. You have other mega-cap technology giants. They've also gotten a whole lot cheaper this year. Amazon and Tesla have both lost over 40 percent from their recent records. Now, Wall Street's concerned that interest rates will need to go up sharply and quickly to bring down record inflation. And that means less money in the economy and less money in stock markets. We had a second key read on inflation this morning showing inflation is still coming in higher than forecast. You had April producer prices up 11 percent from a year ago, and that's still near record levels. So with investors expecting higher interest rates to come. They're trying to raise cash right now in these uncertain times by selling stocks, bonds, and yes, even cryptocurrencies. And the explosion in the new digital asset class turned into an implosion overnight. $200 billion in value wiped out in 24 hours. And that's because confidence was shaken after a crash in a stable coin that was worth billions of dollars. Now, stable coins are used by cryptocurrency traders to move their money across different exchanges to buy and sell different cryptocurrencies. And finally, I'll leave you with this. Remember that infamous GameStop saga last year? Well, we got a revival today with some confusing moves and spikes in GameStop, AMC, and other Wall Street bet favorites. You know, at its peaks this morning, Neil, we had GameStop rallying 30 percent, halted several times owing to volatility. Doesn't that remind you of deja vu from last year? Well, not for the faint of heart, right? Man, oh, man. Uh, Susan, thank you very much. Susan Lee following all of that. Uh, Jeff Locke.